Now, I'm a big fan of Ego Power Products, and in the process, I have collected, well, a lot of batteries over the last couple of years. So I have a couple two and a half amp hour batteries and some fives and some seven and a half, which are the really big ones. And all told, that's almost two kilowatt hours of lithium batteries. And, you know, most of these tools, except for the snowblower, are only used in the summertime, which is a bit of a waste. The new Nexus inverter that they came out with recently, I've had it for a couple of months now, and I thought I'd give you my impressions. So first of all, the overall build quality is quite good. It's very, very similar to all the tools that they make. Uh, same plastics, same finishes, uh, pretty high quality. I would say overall, it's really nicely made and well designed. Uh, it's lightweight, it weighs about a pound, and it's pretty simple. It's just a little chunk with an inverter and USB outputs and these little tracks, which are the standard tracks that you see on the tools that let it slide right into a battery. And you can see the connector pins here on the bottom. And this inverter will work with all of the standard batteries that Ego makes, all the different sizes that are interchangeable and it won't give you more power if you use a larger battery but it will give you a longer run time so a seven and a half amp hour battery will last three times longer than a two and a half pretty simple and the way this attaches is also very simple it just you line them up slide them together and you have a connection there's a green power button that you press to turn it on and let's take a look at the usb to start so usb is pretty straightforward it comes with two ports uh, unfortunately, they are pretty low wattage. They're five watt ports, which is pretty much equivalent to this little tiny free charger that you get with your iPhone. So don't expect miracles. That said, I was able to really charge anything uh, based on the USB, not a problem. Uh, here's an example of me charging my iPad Pro 10 and a half, and you can see it fires right up and starts charging. Uh, plugging in my diagnostic tool, you can see it's putting out 0.92 amps, so it is putting out less than 5 watts. Uh, the standard iPad charger is 15 watts, so you can see it's going to take a really long time for this thing to charge. Uh, I moved on next to a Sonos Play 3, which pulls 5, 10, 20 watts, depending on how loud it is. And that worked great. No problems there at all. So then I wanted to move on to some higher powered items. So here's my 15 inch MacBook Pro and that ships with the 87 watt power adapter. So plugging that in here, it's kind of awkward, but you can see it does work. I'm at 99% and it did charge. I was able to charge from 65 to 100 on a two and a half amp hour battery before it died. Uh, it's worth listening here though, when the inverter is going at a load this high, there's definitely some fan noise, which is good because it does keep the inverter cool. Next, I tried a IKEA halogen light. This was 30 watts, worked no problem, no flickering. Uh, I tried a Vornado three-speed fan, and I did notice that on the lowest speed, it was being a little bit wonky, but on medium and high, it was fine. And I'm guessing that's um, really just a factor of this square wave that the inverter puts out because it's not a pure sine wave, uh, but it did work. And for the big test, I thought I'd really try to break things. So I plugged this into my Nespresso coffee machine, which pulls 1100 watts and it immediately tripped the overload protection. So that does work and to reset it. You just hold the power button down for a couple seconds. It'll flash green and then you're back in business. So wrapping up with the good and the bad here. Uh, first of all, if you own Ego batteries, it's sort of a no brainer. Um, this is a great way to use the power in your batteries, um, give them a whole second use. Uh, like I mentioned, it's not a pure sine wave inverter, so it's not super clean. Um, most electronics I plugged into it were fine with it, but you know, beware. And uh, it is limited, it's 150 watts, which means really small electronic devices. If you've got something that has a motor in it, that's of any size or you're generating any sort of heat, it's not going to work. Uh, the other thing I thought was weird is this handle angle is strange. So you can see when you plug in a battery, uh, whether it's the smallest or the biggest, it just kind of hangs at this awkward angle. So I'm not really sure what that's about. It's kind of a minor complaint. 
Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this. I would definitely recommend it just as a way to get a whole nother use out of your batteries. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.